U.S. President Joe Biden vowed to stay in the 2024 presidential race during calls with campaign staff and meetings with Democratic lawmakers and governors on July 3, as he sought to shake off calls for him to drop out after his shaky debate performance last week. Mr. Biden dialed into a call with worried members of his campaign team and told them he wasn't going anywhere, according to two sources familiar with the call. No one is pushing me out. I'm not leaving. I'm in this race to the end, Mr. Biden said in a separate email blast by his campaign, urging supporters to pitch in a few bucks to help defeat his Republican rival Donald Trump in the November 5th U.S. presidential election. The U.S. president met virtually and in person with 24 Democratic governors and the mayor of Washington, D.C. on the evening of July 3 to reassure them he is up to the job of standard-bearer for the party after the faltering debate performance. Only three of the governors, the leaders of New York, Minnesota, and Maryland, met with reporters afterwards, vowing to stand with Mr. Biden after what they called an honest discussion about his bad performance in last week's debate. The president has always had our backs. We are going to have his back as well, Maryland Governor Wes Moore said. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, the chair of the Democratic Governors Association, said Mr. Biden's June 27 night debate performance against former U.S. President Trump was bad, but added that he felt Mr. Biden was fit for office. Concerns about Mr. Biden's age and mental acuity exploded after June 27's debate with Trump, in which the U.S. president mumbled under his breath, lost his train of thought at times and, at one point, talked of beating Medicare. The U.S. president has said that he was tired after two foreign trips. And the White House has said he had a cold. Asked on July 3 if Mr. Biden was considering stepping down, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said, absolutely not. A Wall Street Journal survey found Trump beating Mr. Biden by a margin of 48% to 42%. Up one percentage point, while a New York Times slash Siena poll found Trump's lead over Mr. Biden had widened by three points to 49% to 43%. In a call among House Democrats on July 3rd, Arizona's Raul Grijalver called for Mr. Biden to drop out of the race, while Representative Seth Moulton from Massachusetts pointed to Mr. Biden's age as a liability. The unfortunate reality is that the status quo will likely deliver us President Trump. Mr. Moulton said in a statement, President Biden is not going to get younger. While the campaign has highlighted fundraising successes with grassroots donors and held damage control calls with donors, Mr. Reed Hastings, a major Democratic Party donor and a co-founder of streaming platform Netflix, called for Mr. Biden to step aside. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris has meanwhile gained support as his potential replacement. Mr. Dimitri Melhorn, an advisor to LinkedIn co-founder and Democratic megadonor Reed Hoffman, told Reuters his team would enthusiastically support a ticket led by our tough and savvy vice president if Biden were to step aside for any reason. Mr. Melhorn said Ms. Harris was the only serious national contender who had already been subjected to major attacks by Trump's Make America Great Again supporters. We would lose Joe's superpower brand. But we would gain other benefits and would still be competitive, he said. Democrats and donors concerned about Mr. Biden's viability in the November election will be closely watching an interview with ABC News expected to be taped and aired on July 5 during a campaign visit to Madison, Wisconsin. The White House said Mr. Biden has spoken with Democratic leaders in Congress as well as Democratic Representative Jim Clyburn, who was instrumental in Mr. Biden's 2020 win. Mr. Clyburn, who has said he would back Ms. Harris as the presidential candidate if Mr. Biden stepped aside, 
told CNN on July 3 that the party should hold a mini-primary if Mr. Biden steps aside. He is the first senior party member to talk publicly about how replacing Mr. Biden as a candidate could work. Some of the governors who met with Mr. Biden on July 3 could be potential rivals if pressure for him to step aside were to increase. But many of them also speak on Mr. Biden's behalf on the campaign trail. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, California Governor Gavin Newsom, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, and Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir have all been mentioned as possible replacements to Mr. Biden.